Three people in Southern Nevada have died of the flu, marking the first deaths in our state this flu season. And one of them, yeah. a young child. Faven Kay joins us with a reminder that doctors and health officials are sending to make sure you and your family are protected from the flu. Good morning, Faven. Yeah, good morning. good morning, Alyssa and Maria. That child was younger than five years old. The two adults are said to have been between the ages of 50 and 64. Last flu season, there were 62 flu-related deaths here in Clark County. One of them was a child under the age of five. According to the CDC, there are certain groups of people who are more susceptible to the flu virus. Those groups include children, especially those under the age of two and adults who are 65 years or older, along with pregnant women and anyone with a chronic illness. People with certain medical conditions like asthma, heart disease, blood disorders, and anything that weakens the immune system are also more at risk of getting the flu virus. We spoke to a local physician about warning signs to look out for. A typical patient with flu um, has a fever high, sometimes 102, 103, often cough, runny nose, sore throat, not feeling well, fatigue, just general malaise. Um, it's, uh, it's more than your average cold. If uh, a parent's uncomfortable with how their child's acting, they should get them checked out. Yeah, and remember to wash your hands, cover your mouth when you cough, and stay at home if you're sick in order to prevent spreading the disease. The CDC also recommends that everyone six months of age and older get the flu vaccine every year, especially those who are considered at higher risk for developing the flu. The ideal time for people to get the vaccine is before the flu starts to spread because it takes about two weeks for the vaccine to take effect in the body and produce antibodies. But officials say it's never too late to get a flu shot and urge you to get one if you haven't. And that doctor that we spoke with, Dr. Nelson at UMC, says in the last couple weeks they've seen an uptick in flu-related hospital visits. And let me tell you, we here at Fox 5 are certainly feeling the effects of the flu season. More than half of our team here has fallen ill, exper experiencing severe cold symptoms over the past few weeks. Ladies, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, Faven, yes, we, we have do. a lot of uh, the wipes, uh -huh. <laughs> the Lysol wipes around here. Yeah, it's a good idea if you work in an office to get in, take those Lysol wipes, spray, yeah. whatever yes. you got to do, and just disinfect your area. All right, Faven, thank you. Thanks. Thank you, guys.